Apple has recently released a high yield savings account and it's actually pretty good. In this video, I'll do a review about Apple savings account and I'll also show you how to set it up. Timestamps will be down below. So in order to set up the savings account, you have to already have Apple's credit card. You also have to have daily cash available in your account. Otherwise, just view your Apple credit card. Press the three dots in the top right corner. Press daily cash. Below Apple Cash, you can set up a high yield savings account. If you do not have any daily cash, this option will not be available. You'll have to make a purchase with your Apple credit card first. Apple savings account and their credit card have no monthly fees and no yearly fees. There's also no minimum balance or minimum deposit required for Apple savings account. Apple gets a thumbs up when it comes to not having fees. The biggest benefit to Apple savings account is the high interest that it pays. Right now, the interest you'll earn for money setting in this account is 4.15% which is several times more interest than what you're going to get at a traditional brick and mortar bank. And it's also higher interest than what you're going to get at many online only banks as well. The interest rate is great, but you do have to have an Apple credit card in order to set up the savings account, which the Apple credit card is actually a solid card, a card that gives you 1% cash back on every purchase that you make and an additional 1% cash back if you use Apple Pay in order to make that purchase. So the Apple credit card is basically a 2% cash back on everything credit card with 3% cash back at certain merchants like Apple. Also, Apple's credit card does currently have a sign-up bonus that is good until June 6th, 2023. When you sign up to Apple credit card using the link down below and make your first purchase within 30 days, you'll get $75 as a welcome bonus. I earn zero commission if you use this link. When it comes to the Apple credit card and the Apple savings account, everything is done on the wallet app on your phone. It's Apple, so the quality is high. One of the best features is that you can have your daily cash automatically put into Apple's high yield savings account. And of course, it's easy to pay off the credit card and view your transaction history all through the app. You can also sign up for Apple Pay later and split purchases into four payments with no interest or fees, which this is something that you'll hopefully never use or if you do use it, you will be responsible about it. Apple's credit card also has advanced fraud protection. This advanced protection changes your security code periodically which is an amazing feature I haven't really seen anywhere else. Since Apple recently added a high yield savings account, it seems like it's only a matter of time before they end up adding a checking account at some point in the future. I'm definitely excited to see what else they have to bring to the table. But there are some cons. The biggest con of this savings account is that you have to have Apple's credit card in order to set it up. Also, in order to get the full 2% cash back with Apple's credit card, you have to use Apple Pay in order to get it. Another potential con is that you have to be part of Apple's ecosystem. Also, it doesn't feel like a complete experience. It's just the credit card and a savings account. There's no checking account. If you don't like iPhones or Apple products, then this probably isn't the product for you. If that's the case, then consider signing up for SoFi, which is currently my favorite bank account. SoFi is currently paying 4.20% interest on money in your savings account when you have direct deposit set up with them. They also have a credit card that's 2% cash back on every purchase that you make. If you're interested in checking out SoFi, I'll leave my link to their checking account and their credit card down below. Both of these have sign-up bonuses. Feel free to use my link or someone else's in order to get those bonuses. There's also a limit to how much money you can have in Apple savings account. The limit is $250,000, which isn't too big of a con because this isn't going to be a problem for the vast majority of people. And my final con of Apple savings account is that Apple is not an actual bank. Your money is FDIC insured up to $250,000. But that insurance is for the bank that Apple uses, meaning that if Apple failed, it'd probably be more of a headache for you to get your money back. Then again, this is very unlikely because Apple is the most valuable company in the world and they're setting on over $50 billion in cash. In conclusion, this savings account is solid. Still, it's tied to Apple's ecosystem, so it's not for everyone. Although for people who already have the credit card, it seems like a no-brainer to set it up. I think that this is a good way to actually introduce someone into high-yield online savings accounts. You can also have your daily cash automatically added to your savings account. This is simple and easy, and I like it when my finances are simple and easy. I imagine that as time goes on, Apple will continue to make improvements to what they have to offer. I just hope that it doesn't end up becoming a subscription like everything else. If Apple plays their cards right, they could very well become the king of online-only bank accounts at some point in the future. Something I would like to see Apple add is a checking account and vaults for their savings account. Then again, Apple may decide to just not have a checking account altogether. Because you can use Apple's high yield savings account as a checking account. Apple's savings account does have a routing number and an account number. So you can set up direct deposit. It also doesn't appear like Apple has a limit on withdrawals that you can make from your savings account. And it doesn't seem like they have any fee for if you make too many withdrawals. I'd also like to note that there used to be a savings withdrawal limit fee that was actually law, but that law was deleted back in 2020. So with the right savings account, you can actually just use it like you would a checking account. 
Personally, I prefer to have both checking and savings because I like to keep them separate. 